the proposed sale of Olivier Giroud from Arsenal to Borussia Dortmund looks to be off as talks hit an impasse. Borussia Dortmund wanted the France international to replace Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, but, despite an initial acceptance for the deal to progress, the Germans have been unimpressed with offers so far, and Giroud is assessing other options. Arsenal have increased their initial offer, but it is still short of Dortmund's desired price for Aubameyang and has not been well received by the Bundesliga side. Aubameyang is insistent on the move which is an advantage for Arsenal, but there is a general acceptance that they will need to increase their bid to around £56 million. Dortmund may then revert to asking Chelsea for Michy Batshuayi rather than revive interest in Giroud. However, that will hinge on Chelsea signing Eden Zico or an alternative. The 28-year-old had been close to joining them before, but saw a move fall through in the summer, while a proposal earlier this month fell short of West Ham's valuation. Rens are now proposing a loan with a view to making the deal permanent should Sacco score seven goals. Crystal Palace, Swansea, Newcastle, West Brom and Bordeaux have all inquired for Sacco this month. West Ham's new signing Joe Mario will fly to London ahead of his medical. The Portugal International is joining on loan for the rest of the season. Manager David Moyers is looking to add another striker with Marco Arnautovic likely to be out for two weeks and midfielder Mario Lanzini out for up to six. West Ham have a number of midfield and defensive options, but, as Sportsmail reported on Monday, Moyers considers a move for Real Betis midfield prospect Fabian Ruiz to be too early in the career for the 21-year-old despite his undoubted talent. Liverpool have beaten off late competition for Manchester United to sign Falkirk teenager Tony Gallagher. The left-back, once coveted by Barcelona, is due to sign for Liverpool on Friday in a deal that could potentially rise to £1. Two million. Gallagher has been followed by Liverpool for over a year, while Swansea City had been considered frontrunners for his signature prior to Christmas. However, Liverpool invited him down for training last week and he impressed staff suitably for an offer to go in. Manchester United though, had also followed Gallagher, and, on finding out about Liverpool's move, made inquiries to sign the former Scotland U-17 international themselves last week. The 18-year-old travelled back to Scotland last weekend to hear of the rival interest, but was set on a move to Liverpool. Gallagher is expected to finalise terms on Friday. Meanwhile, Red Bull Leipzig are primed to beat Manchester United to the signing of Umro Mbolo in a deal worth up to £12 million. The 16 year old was wanted by United, but they believe the price for Mbolo is too high. Chelsea have put a recall option in their loan deal for left back Bob Raman. The Kana is on his way for a medical at Shaki ahead of confirming his 18 month loan. The 23 year old, who has recovered from a knee ligament injury, was also a target for Everton and Inter Milan in recent weeks plus Monaco. His arrival precedes Chelsea's move for Emerson Palmieri with the Roma left-back expected to sign regardless of whether they can agree terms for his teammate Eden Zico. The Bosnia international is understood to be looking for substantial wages and a longer contract than the one initially proposed.
Roma have been linked with a move for Eric Lamella at Tottenham, meanwhile, but that deal is considered unlikely. Crystal Palace have had an offer rejected for Lille defender Ibrahim Amadou. Lille want £18 million for the 24 year old, but Palace have been trying to arrange an initial loan with a view to a permanent deal. Everton are ready to allow Admolo Lookman to go out on loan. A number of Premier League sides have shown interest in the talented 20 year old who is likely to slip down the pecking order following the arrival of Theo Walcott. Derby County made enquiries in the summer for Lookman, who cost Everton £11 million from Charlton. Everton striker Sandro has interest from Newcastle, Sevilla, and Malaga while Davy Klaassen is an option for Fenerbahce. Brighton are discussing moves for Real Betis midfielder Victor Camarasa and Ezri Kansa from Charlton Athletic. The 23-year-old Camarasa impressed on loan at Alaves from Levante last season and Betis moved to sign him in the summer for £4.6 million. He has started just 11 of their 20 league games, but Brighton were on his trail last summer and have revived their interest as they look to put in a bit of around £8 million. Manager Chris Hewton is keen to add a couple more players to his squad as they begin to slip back into the relegation zone. The 20-year-old centre-back has been with Charlton since he was 12 and has been capped by England at U20 level. Brighton have had in pounds 8 million bid rejected for Newcastle striker Alexander Mitrovic and were rebuffed in an attempt to sign Bristol City defender Aidan Fint for pounds 6 million. Brighton have also asked about Wigan Athletic midfielder Nick Powell. Bournemouth are weighing up a bid for Dundee defender Jack Hendry after watching him against Hibernian on Wednesday. West Ham also watched the 22-year-old who was unable to prevent his side losing 